Institute began with the right vision. A vision of a place where young men and women could learn to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. Zion Bible Institute has the right history. Zion Bible Institute is known for its commitment to God, dedicated service, and educational excellence. It is located in the right place, near Providence, Rhode Island, a city just a few short miles from where our forefathers landed at Plymouth Rock. From humble beginnings in the inner city of East Providence, Zion Bible Institute has touched the world. For almost seven decades, lives have been changed through the influence of its dedicated graduates. This is a Bible college, guys, and when this place shut down, they were still working on the guest hall. So we're out of here now. We end up in the main hall where everything starts. They, they even had their own little cooking stove thing, the toaster. This is sick. And then we got spring semester, 1988. I never been inside a dorm basement, guys. Whoa. Hey, what's up guys? Exploring with Josh here, and today we're inside an abandoned college. Now, this place is five buildings big on campus. We're about to explore all of them. And right now, we're starting off with the first one as the guest house. So we're going to go check out and explore the guest house first. So let's go. Now, this is a Bible college, guys. And when this place shut down, they were still working on the guest hall. And they never ended up finishing it. So all this stuff is still left here, unable to be used. reason why I know this is a guest hall is because the sign right here. <laughs> I mean, they have the beds here, some fans, and but look, look at this. I mean, all this goes way down, and there's a whole bunch of rooms here. And there's Steve right there in the middle of it. It looks spooky over there, though. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's very typical. Just a whole bunch of rooms so far, but we're going to keep on going. Steve says he found something over here. Yeah, I saw like, <laughs> some desks. Oh, look, look at the hardwood floors. These are nice. I would so break dance on these. Wow. I wish I lived here. So here's a typical dorm here. You have the kitchen, which is in each dorm, each room, of course, and you got their places where they would sleep. These, there was bunk beds here at one point. Some of them had hardwood floors and some of them had carpets. But like I said, it looks very nice. Doesn't look bad at all here. Now, they had bunk beds here, but I mean, look how close the, the top bunk was from the ceiling. But I guess they managed. At least their bathrooms are even nice. That looks better than my bathroom. <laughs> the bathrooms here look better than my bathrooms. Just kidding, guys. So we just left that hall, and as we're going down here, we're gonna go, we're just skipping and going to the basement really quick. Just see what's over here. I never been inside a dorm basement, guys. Whoa. Let me bring out the flashlight for this. You ready for this, Steve? We're going in the basement. It's pretty dark in here, yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of spiders here. All right. Oh, so this was where all their supplies were and stuff. Look at the, their beds are right here. We're checking it out, guys. So they came up to this, and inside here's a whole bunch of different documents. And here's one of them right now. I don't know if I can show you. So, fall semester. So, we have all these, like, this is pretty much your schedule. And then we got spring semester, 1988. So, this place wasn't too old, actually. And you can tell it's not that old because nothing's too damaged around here. We're gonna check out some more documents. This one is what interests me the most. This is their testament introduction exam. And all these are from the Bible. So, like I said, this was a Bible college. And it's pretty cool to see this. Like, look at this, true or false. All three Jewish temples were built on the same site. And you have a whole bunch of stuff um, from the Bible on here. So this one we pulled out was music notes. And the song is called Just a Closer Walk in the, in the, Just a Closer Walk in the, we found. And here's the music notes to this song. And these are all the official. Uh, all right, so we're moving along right now. And we're coming up to, um, wow, more documents. And not only that, this is where they wash and dry their clothes. 
wash and dry. It even says a sign right there. That's funny. I'm trying to check what's in here. Well, this dryer does not work. Sure doesn't. <laughs> okay, so we're heading back upstairs now. Ooh, almost tripped. So that's what we're in. Look how crazy it looks. So we're out of here now. We end up in the main hall where everything starts. If you live in that hallway or that side, which keeps going more down. But we're gonna go see what's around here right now. Look how nice the ceilings look. They look good. <sighs> Got some cassette tapes. Anything else cool around here we can look at? Some more Bible, Bible stuff. We found old pocketbooks left here. Or, we found old purses left here. Must have been girls living here. Well, so this door has a TV in it. Dude, this thing's old as hell. That's awesome. I mean, now we got the cool flat screens and stuff. So this one's really old. All right, so we're about to go through the last hallway of the dorms. Look at that. But look at this too. I love this sign right here. Residents and visitors, when you go through the, this door, please walk and talk quietly. Someone may be resting. Yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and go through it. There's about a good 60 dorms around in here. There's a good 60 dorms in this place for sure. Every dorm has like a different paint color. So I'm so surprised to see this room has not been touched. So we're about to go inside a typical dorm room and this was their life. They had couches in here and everything. Look at the furniture's in here. What was this? Dude, they even had their own little cooking stove thing, the toaster. This is sick. So everyone was chilling in here. It looks like a stoner was living here. They covered up their uh, windows so the sunlight doesn't come in. They had some parties in here and everything. So as you walk over here from that room, you can see this is their bed. I mean, it looked nice. Nice wall color. And you got there another couch right here, and they also blocked this window. So they were really having a great time here, that's for sure. But it's, it's the only room that's untouched here so far. We'll check out the other ones right here and see. Well, look at this room. Well, in this room we have some doctor-related stuff. Look at that. <laughs> and their bed. Oh, you can check your blood pressure right here. This stuff is just left here. Jesus, he will be a joy and delight to you. Nice. All right, guys, you see the dorm? Not too much here. We had some documents down in the basement and such. But it's time to get out of this place. We're going to go to another uh, building. Let's go. So we're in one of the last rooms. And as we come up to it, we found old students' uh, books. So we found old students' notes, and this guy was named Mark Ford, and the topic's preaching. And it just talks about <laughs> preachers and stuff. And not only that, which is cool and all, but let me get out of here. Uh, we found his notebook. So he, he knows, he, he can write really good. He takes great notes. So I don't exactly know who he is. Okay, look at all this stuff about the Bible and stuff. There's a lot, but it's just cool to see like old students' notes and stuff still up here. Oh, and here's his um his syllabus right here. This was his schedule right now. That's amazing. All right, guys. So I was reading the notes over there, and I felt a sharp pain in my wrist. I'm like, what's going on? And I check and look. It looks like I've been marked by something. It actually really hurts. It's like burning right now. I'm actually freaked out. I feel like a ghost or something attacked me. I don't know. It looks like a symbol in a way. I don't know. A little freaked out. Maybe I'm overthinking, but we got to keep on moving. So whatever. Got to shake it off. Holy crap. Look at this. All their old clothes left here. Damn. And it looks like there's some other stuff over here as well. Damn. Their kitchen's still working. We got a lot of trash. And here's their supplies. 
There's even a carpet over here. Damn. This is crazy. Uh, like I said, these rooms were really nice. I mean, look at this. All these aren't bad. Like, you can really live in these. And they're just left here. They're, they're done. They really just abandoned and relocated. Can't believe it. So we have a house right there. We have a big block full of other places. And it's cool because there's literally no one here but us. It feels amazing to be here because there's no one here. There are old parking lots destroyed. And look, we even have a deer right over there doing his thing. <laughs> nice. Damn, the tree got destroyed. And obviously the city or anything ain't gonna fix it. This place is abandoned. inside what we're gonna call it the main hall and this place is like a Victorian mansion look at this and this is just all abandoned guys oh my god no fucking way oh my god what the hell am I doing Jesus it's very dark so let's go pray everything's all good <laughs> yeah. I'm not one that's living in an ivory tower that believes we can change all of mankind, but we can see thousands and millions of people reached if we will believe God's word in this hour. So we just left the dorms. The dorms were pretty cool. But now we're inside what we're gonna call it the main hall. And this place is like a Victorian mansion. We've never seen anything like this. We're super excited. So let's go explore every square inch of this place as we can and get some clues and what our history can find in this place. So let's go, shall we? So look at what we're looking at right now. It's, it's so amazing. Let's come up. I mean, we have the red carpet, the chandelier on the ceiling. I mean, look at this. And this is just all abandoned, guys. I don't know where to start. This place is huge. The fireplace in the middle. Um, we'll, we'll, t we'll go left first, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm so excited right now. They have a whole bunch of tables set up here. I wonder what they did around here. There's a whole bunch of tables set up here. I wonder what they did. But still, another fireplace, which is amazing. Uh, I don't know, there's so many rooms. I mean, there are literally so many rooms in this place. I don't even know. I'm so overwhelmed right now. But, oh, what? I mean, whoa. This is huge. This is amazing. I wish I had one of these in my room, but it wouldn't even fit in my room if I could. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is a vault, guys. We found a vault inside here. I mean, obviously we're gonna find one, it's a mansion. But I mean, look at this, could have stored so much stuff. Who knows what was in here at one point. And we're gonna keep going here. Ended up in the kitchen, it looks like, yep. God, look how much like dishes could be stored there. This one's a little messy. You can tell we're not the first ones who have come here, but it's still really kept up nice. That's for sure. Bathrooms. Oh, nice shower, huh? You can sit down on it. Someone had to take a dump. Hmm. I guess some of the owner's clothes were still here. Looks like it. Still in the curtains, in the closet. The clothes are still in the closet. TV smash, damn the vandals man, they came over here, that's for sure. Wow. This is, this is definitely the best. Um, I'll go upstairs after, like I said, we're gonna go explore the first floor. So we're gonna keep on going. In this row, Oh, the paint's starting to chip now. You can tell, like I said, it's not that old. Wow, the firewood is still right there. They haven't even burned this spot yet. I mean, 
Just look at this though, it's so nice. Nice hardwood floors and everything. Hmm. Ooh, I like this hallway. Let's go check out what's around here. Wow. Let's go down here. Has a little funky smell to it. Like a very old, musty smell. Another fireplace. This is like fireplaces in each room. It's like a hall. I love how the, the light is just shining right through. Brightening up this place. Really cool. And this chair looks weird. Just staring out in the window. But, I don't know. This place is big, like I said, and I'm, I'm already getting lost. So I was in that hallway, so I'm all over here now. It still goes more down. So we're gonna keep on going. Ooh, spider webs are up there. I hate spider webs. Okay. Nice. Oh my god. This was their library. Holy shit. It's like the ones you see on the movies. When they have so much books lined up and you have like this thing that just you stand on. It's like a moving ladder. When it shines all the way to the other side. Damn. I literally can't believe this. I've never seen anything like this. Now, it feels like I'm in um, the UK and Germany and you know, all the places around there because they are known for mansions and Victorian houses and castles and all the other, all the cool stuff that you would see, like right here is there, but even better. And yeah, Google it. Google like abandoned houses or mansions in the UK and stuff. It's amazing what you would find there. But this is sick. I mean, look at, you can, look at the windows too. It's nice. Just shining up. The windows are just shining from the sunlight. It must beam down here at night. It must look so nice. I don't come across this too often. So this is definitely a, one of my favorite spots I've been to. At least one of the most uniquest spots I've been to. That's for sure. Um, I don't know, like I said, I feel like I've been walking forever and I'm only on the first floor. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I really don't even know where to start. This is, a, this is just so nice. Wow. This is awesome. Is in there anything? Just like, it looks like to be another uh, kitchen. Wow, I love this. This looks cool. I don't even know what that says. <laughs> nice. Steve's over somewhere else. I mean, it was so big that we kind of just split up. Never split up, guys. But we're splitting up. What is that? Ah, someone's just drinking. Wow. Dude, I would so live here if I could. <laughs> This is awesome. I mean, I guess I can go upstairs, right? I mean, Steve will be okay, I think. I hope. I hope Steve will be okay. I mean, if something happened to Steve and so I'm by myself, we're totally not following our code. But, I don't know, we'll check it out. On the second floor now. <laughs> Let's go. More bathrooms. Huh, someone blocked this door. Wow. Oh, we found something. Finally, books. But I'm looking for like notes from the past. I'm trying to find like certain notes from the past, something that could give me a more idea of, you know, maybe who lived here or what's going on here. Okay. Dude, I would so be able to break dance right here if I lived here. I would never have to leave my house. I could stay here all day and just dance. Hmm. Well. What? Wow. All right, so I'm going up to the third floor, at least in this section of the building. Although, well, main hall, we'll call it. And look at this, what we found on the wall. 
Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, for your God, will be with you wherever you go. That's the craziest. Here's another one. Let us approach the throne of grace, the conf confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Okay, here we go. So we're up here. Oh my God. No fucking way. A, san a Satanic ritual is right here. Look at that. Unbelievable. And what is this? There's more raining on the floors? What does this say? I can't read what this says. 2012 this happened. So there's a ritual going on from 2012. And it smells bad in here too. I'm trying to clean it all up. Yeah, I kind of moved all the stuff around so you could see this. This is so crazy. Oh my God. Wow. Damn. What else? Oh, look at this. There's even like a little kid's bed there. It's just so freaky, man. Oh my God. I gotta watch my back, I don't know. There could be like a freaking killer in here. You never know. That was a surprise to me, to find a Satanic ritual here. But, I mean, we found them everywhere else we've been to, so I'm getting, I'm used to it, but like I said, I mean, there could be like killers just creeping in the closet. They hear me, they're just gonna come out and stab me, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm playing it safe. But I mean, this place is just so big. Wow, look at this. It's like the, some girl's room or something. I don't even understand. Oh my god. Look at this doll still here. This is so freaky. It's like she's just looking here. These are the closet and stuff. Who knows what could be in here? I'm afraid to even like look in. Some people don't even open. This is... Oh my god. So spooky. Just to show you that how this is amazing, this is just one of the rooms. There's, a, there's rooms all the way over here. There's doors, doors here. Freaking the Satanic room right here. More doors, more rooms that go. And this is just a little section of the place. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep on going. We're gonna check over here. I feel like, like the exorcist happened here. Like no joke. I'm calling Steve about this to ritual. He's over there exploring. This place is huge. I don't even know how to find him. I have to call him just to locate him. I gotta tell him about this. Hopefully he picks up his phone. Come on, Steve, pick up man. Yo, yo, Steve, I found a Satanic ritual guy. Yeah. Dude, I don't know where I am. That's the crazy thing. It's a, it's a green room? You're in a, he's in a big room right now, guys. Dude, I'm, fil I'm filming you as I talk to you. Dude, this room is crazy. Dude, there's, there's even a, a little kid's bed there. And... Holy sh**. I saved myself, dude. The floors are... The f No, I'm not in any chapel, but... Alright, alright, let's meet back in the main hall, and I'll take you up here. Let's stick together. You hear me? You hear me? Holy sh**, I think that's me, dude. <laughs> yeah, you have to go up. I'm up, dude, I'm on the, all right. All right, just meet me at the third, meet me at the main hall, and we'll come back here. All right, actually stay, all right, yeah, all right, bye. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get Steve. I mean, look at this room. You see these in the freaking horror movies, man. You go inside those closets and freaking the sinister guys in there or the boogeyman or the ring. Oh yeah, I'm getting Steve, man. I'm freaking myself. So guys, I just met up with Steve. He scared the <laughs> of me because he said one word and it already freaked me out because I'm, I'm freaked out here. But look at the room he was looking at when we were inside when I was calling. Let's go see, what is this? Dude. Are these pictures of someone? Oh my God, just stuff about God and stuff. Someone Release your fear. Look, look at this, 666, someone definitely crazy came here. 
and this room is just completely empty, but look at it. And what Steve said, we're just going to explore less. There's a chapel inside here, over there. Some about praying. A prayer chapel. A prayer chapel. You know what? Want to go check it out now, and then I'll show you this, the, the rituals upstairs? Yeah, dude, show me. All right. Dude, this. I just caught up with Josh right here. We're back in the room that I was just exploring, and we're about to check out the prayer chapel. We went up to the top, and there's no chapel here at all. It's just your radio tower or something. And look, right here. So, yeah. Dude, I'll pretend I was climbing. Yeah. You could climb it. I'll I'll film you. No, I'll pretend I was climbing. I'll pretend that this is through my back. So we climbed all the way to the top of this tower chapel thing, and there's not one prayer room or nothing. Oh god. So I'm not exactly sure if it's here anymore. For all we know, maybe this was it right here. But it, it got you know destroyed or they took it all away before they moved out or something. The only thing we found up top was a radio transmitter. That was it at the top of the tower. But I was I was really excited for a chapel, but no chapel, but it's okay because this place is just amazing anyway. It doesn't need a chapel. Now we gotta go, let me turn my light on. All the way back down. All right, the ritual's up here. Yep, literally up there, let's go. We gotta go up another flight of stairs, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's huge, dude. All right, I'll show you. Oh, look at these markings I found, too. Oh, we made it. Such a long walk to get here. It's over here, dude. Literally, bam. Here it is, Steve. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm scared to walk in this room. Yeah, this dude in the bed, the little kids' beds there and stuff. It's freaky, man. And the ceiling tiles are just. I mean, yeah, and the paint walk. ceiling's coming down. Just gonna walk in the room. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is the closet that I didn't want to go in at first. I I was gonna see someone at the corner. No one though. It's all about your mind playing tricks on you. But I have Steve with me, so it's okay. Oh no, just you know, it's one of those closets where you think like there's like the grudge or something inside. Okay. Not. It's pretty dark in here. What? Oh, hell fucking no. What? I am not going up there first. I think you need to go up there first. <laughs> this is like in those horror movies for real now. That's the attic, bro. That. Yeah. Uh, you're the one with the flashlight. Fuck. Yeah, I got you. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? There's a bunch of different things up here, like old bags, like whoever lived here, dude, this was their storage. Dude, dude, this could be like the movie Sinister guy. You ever see the movie Sinister? Where you find like the, the uh, video recordings of those kids who killed their parents? Oh my god. Man, I'm freaked out. It is hot. Dude, I found a box guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing in it though. I thought that was it. Dude, someone stuffed the animal. Oh my god. This is on. Dude, this is really freaky, man. <sighs> For all you know, there could be treasure in here. Okay, I'm just looking through. Dude, look at this. Another stuffed animal on the ground. It's dead plants. Oh, this is on the save, too. Yeah, I know, man. Dude, this is awesome, though. No carvings. I was looking for maybe, like, carvings on the wall. People, like, put their initials or something. You never know. <sighs> Let's go more in. The other side. This is crazy shit, man. Did you walk on here? Yeah, I did. Okay. There's more stuff over here. Let's see. 
Oh my god, yo, look at these old, <laughs> those old desks. Old bed sheets and stuff. Yeah, I know, man. Freaky, man. Freaky. God. I'm gonna pray to Jesus after this, dude, I swear. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot for sure. I'm not gonna go in there, I don't care. No one's gonna make me go in there. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Dude, lucky you were here, man. I wouldn't have been able to go in there by myself. <laughs> oh man, that was enough adrenaline rush for the day. We still got more to explore. Just found a, a room with number 315. Yeah. Going in. Yeah, I know. Look at this small little crawl space. I don't see anything in it though. Dude, what the f Dude. Hmm? That's moving. There's no wind in here. All the doors are sh- The windows are shut. Oh my god. Uh... Dude, does it ever stop? What? Guys, um, we can't what? really explain I'm not gonna... how that is happening right now. And we got the kid's bed or some, someone's bed. I'm not gonna say kid's bed. It could be anybody's bed. Well, you see something written? It's the cash are touching me. God. Jesus. More to go. Dude, today's a great day, huh? Sure is. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking some pics. I think this is my favorite bathroom I've ever seen, and the reason why is because, it, I mean, look how old those tubs are, and the old Mary's like that. This is real vintage shit right here. I love it. So my favorite color is green, and I really love this bathroom because of that. Nasty tub. But I just like the designs and stuff. Oh, dude, this is nicer than my kitchen. I'm not joking with this one. Except all the smash, the smash glass and stuff. But this is awesome. It's so homey over here and nice. But seriously, it looks like so much down here. But I know nothing. I don't know. This wallpaper, man, really freaks me out. I don't know why. I mean, there's just so many bathrooms. When I go inside old historical places like this, I mean, I really think like, I use my, my, my imagination gets me, I'm like, wow, what happened here? And like thoughts race through my mind. I'm like, dude, I wonder who lived here. I wish I could meet who used to live here or find out who used to live here. And, and I just love history and I love like, like just going to places that are forgotten. I, you know, I know it's hard. It's like when you walk here, you're like, you're inside a new, a new world. You're, you're alone. You're not with anyone anymore. It's like, it's like in a video game or an anime. It's like you're you're completely in like a whole different world, literally. And I don't know. It's it's a cool feeling and it's amazing. Right now we're on the other side of the main hall, and you know we're just walking through it and down these stairs. Seems like we're gonna find a basement right here. And yeah, here it is. It's very dark, so let's go pray. Everything's all good. That is my flashlight. Get it. Okay. Is going down first. Holy shit, dude. It's like a fucking exorcist basement. Yeah, no joke. Looks like someone used to live here. Old furniture over there. Old lamps. Some of this stuff is probably very, very old. 
All right. So always wear your masks and stuff like this, guys. You know, you got mold, you got asbestos, you got all that, all that stuff in the basement for sure. Oh, spider web. Ew, made it. Seems like there's nothing too interesting over here. Damn, it gets even deeper down there. We'll check it out in a minute. Let's go explore the other side and... Actually, you know what? No, screw it. All right, goes deeper. We're about, to un we're about to uncover some secrets here. A lot of ACs that will show where we are. Dude, it looks like we're in an underground tunnel, but I don't know. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, I hate spider. Oh. Bunch of different things. Mm. Holy sh! Look at this. Look at this rat. It goes over here too. We'll check it out in a minute. Is it? In front of this door it says dead. And it does look creepy. But we're gonna go ahead and go anyway. No face? Different writings are on here. This is crazy. Dude, I found like a crawl space. I am not going in there. Dude, it looks like crates. Like where they like store like guns and dead bodies you see in the movies. I'm gonna go lift one up. Oh, you can't. F*** that. those crates. There's spray paint everywhere. Whoa. This is for our memories. So here's the college of the place. That's how it used to look back in the day. That's it. Okay. Jeez. So much stuff here. A lot of internet cords. Found some blueprints of the building in the basement. These are hand drawn, by the way, guys. In case you didn't know. Really? Yep. So in the basement, look at this. Not only is the power still running inside this abandoned building, but we have a whole bunch of stuff still here. And it's kind of like kept up kind of nice. It's not destroyed either. We got books, different parts, a whole bunch of screws and stuff all around. And what's even crazier is out of this room, if we keep on walking, we got a bunch of the, the, the college's um, plans and documents all over here. And it gets, even, it gets crazier, you guys. You know, we'll look through some of them. But if you go over here, you can find their blueprints. So we're looking through and we see ideas and future plans. And this is a paper that's, that, you know, it says 
residence living facility. So this is a future plan that probably never went through. And it looks like that. That's how they want it to be. But obviously plans never fell through and they relocated. So it's pretty cool to see this. And there's so much more, that's the thing. We found another vault and it's in the basement. Nothing's in the vault though. Just kind of scary. That's an awesome chair. Nice old rocking chair. <laughs> Anything inside here? That's probably nothing. And there's even more stuff here. This room is full of stuff. Key and kit A. Tons and tons of keys that could probably get inside different locked rooms. Books. Doorknobs. So much. Look at all these keys. I think they open up all the rooms to the mansion. There's so many of them. Damn. There's even so some cool. on these sides. Maybe we can get a key that opens up the chapel. Yeah, I know. I keep looking for the chapel key, but I can't find it. Alright, so Steve found the key 65. Yeah. And we're gonna go upstairs and see if, if we can solve that little riddle with that key. This is amazing. walking and we found this little crack. We're walking and I'm finding room number 65. We've never been up here yet. This place looks different from the other parts of the mansion. It's really brand new. Yeah. It looks like I'm in an apartment. That's the, the weird thing. Nothing even here at all. Literally. Alright, so we're in a whole new side right now. And we're gonna see what's in here. What? So there's three, two floors or something. So there's three floors over here. Flash it out. Okay, we're gonna go in. This place is like a maze. It is a maze, dude. It's a very big room. These looks like there's a whole bunch of just small rooms, maybe. It is. Tons and tons of room. Twenty-four. God. <laughs> tons and tons of rooms. No 65? Uh, I don't get it. Damn, it goes far down. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know, man. Just, it's a freaking maze. That's exactly what this is. Just trying to find anything out the ordinary. Oh my god. I'll go up there after, dude. I'm gonna I'm trying to get every square inch of this place gone. Oh I found uh Piero. Nothing in it though. <laughs> I like this. The sun's just coming right through it. It's awesome. But I mean, like I said, I don't wanna get lost in this huge place. Oh, I know we are. Hey, this is the main hall over here, back where we started. Yeah, here's the chapel. Yeah, we're back at the chapel, but 
We can't get in. Try to find the, the number of the chapel. Maybe we can find a key for it. Yeah, I don't think we just gotta do it. <laughs> Could be something awesome up here. Holy <laughs> Smells in here, dude. <laughs> it's a holy place. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Wow, look at this room. Completely decaying right now. Holy sh**. Nice. Damn, so much paint chipping. What the hell? So, so a window and another window. This was some girl's room, that's for sure. So we just got done exploring the whole entire mansion and we decided to come right back here because we wanted to just take some pictures in this room because this room stuck out the most. So we're like, wow, let's go take some pictures at the end of the day here. And like I said, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if we actually explored the whole mansion, but it's so big. So we might've not seen every room, but I think we got most of it, if not all of it. And probably this is probably the most coolest and creepiest room here. So, I mean, like I said, oh, if you want to see the pictures that we took in this room, we made them look really creepy. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It's I underscore am underscore Joshua. Check the script, uh, description below. You can see the pictures that we took here. And I mean, the pictures came out really good. And not only that, dude, I post a lot of pictures on my Instagram. So I feel like you guys should follow me because I have a lot of, a lot of cool in, uh, pictures. But, I mean, just to show you guys that, you know, this wasn't done by us. I mean, I'll even, uh, I don't think I should touch it, but... Whatever, I'm not even gonna touch it, but I mean, you can tell this is old and, you know, whatever. This wasn't, this ain't no fake shit. But whoever did do it, did it in 2012. So, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did exploring it. I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully I find my way out. It was a great day. Like I said, oh, follow my gaming channel as well. I've been promoting it, I'm trying to get it out there. I really, I love playing games, so, yeah. All right, thank you guys, see ya. Oh, and don't forget to follow Steve. His description is in the link below. You can see his side of exploring this place as well. Yeah, you'll see my perspective of this whole place. Yes, you will.